right here in Westwood at UCLA. Caitlin and Val join us this morning. I mean, Good all morning. I can do is to the two of you this, first of all. <laughs> Kate, I'm going to start with Caitlin. Nice this, is, this is a jaw-dropping performance. It has brought joy to so many people, including celebrities. Did you think this would happen? I honestly had no idea that any of this would happen. We wanted to top the routine from last year that went viral on Facebook with like over a million, or over a hundred million mm -hmm. views as well. A <laughs> hundred million. Yeah. So we wanted to come up with something that was going to bring more joy and more intricate dance. And I wanted to up all my tumbling passes as well. So I think we kind of managed to do that. And as a coach yeah. watching her, were you like, this is it? We got it. This is fun. This is it. This is fun. And then it's really fun to tweak them. Like once it all gets put together, to see her bring out her personality. And so I think the thing that people are so mesmerized by also is she gets so focused before, before tumbling passes. And right when she lands, she's pure joy again. I right. mean, you land good. Yeah, <laughs> that looks painful. But uh, as a guy, I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, let, let's talk. And also, I love your music, by the way. Like, some of my favorite songs are in your routine. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the, the, you know, we talked about this sort of change in where you were headed and then all the sort of twists and turns. A lot of people are wondering, could the Olympics be in your future again? Has this changed the way you think about that at all? Could we be headed to the Olympics? So I was on the path to the Olympics when I was 12 years old and by the time I was 16 I was told I might not ever do gymnastics again and so it took years of me like getting multiple opinions and rehabbing before I could come back and that's when I came to college met Miss Val started my new path and gymnastics is kind of different because like we peak when we're 16 so I'm like old for a gymnast at 21 years old and it's kind of like I was on the path to the Olympics when I was so young and now I've experienced so much joy and so much success I guess it's like why would I want to go back to elite gymnastics that I wasn't happy experiencing mm. well you're, you're selling out arena so you bring joy to a lot of people I'm gonna get to coach Val this is a student this is a young girl and when you met her you know you helped bring her back into a sport that brought her a lot of pain and a lot of happiness what do you tell the parents because you say I think gymnastics can be a brutal sport but I don't think it is supposed to be a brutal sport what do you advise to parents who think they have Olympic grade college bound athletes because it's a very stressful thing. <clears throat> this is a very important topic and it's something that I am passionate about speaking to. Um, and it's not just gymnastics, it's all sports for all young boys and girls. And it's, uh, we've, I think we just have to restructure how we think as parents and as coaches and how we parent them um, because it can't be about our egos. It can't be about, oh, look at you won. Oh, look at me, what a great parent I am. And we can't ever take the joy out of learning anything. And so I absolutely believe, 100% without question, you can train champions at the greatest level. You can educate in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. You can prepare them for the SATs, mm -hmm. for college, without taking the joy out of learning. And when you do infuse the joy, Joy isn't ha ha silly. Like great athletes, great students love the challenge. That's the joy. Well, it's a right. rush. It's a rush. Mm -hmm. and, and you and you write about that in your book, Life is Too Short, Don't Wait to Dance, and talk about the seven different NCAA championships you've led your teams to. Um, for you though, what goes through your mind during that performance when you're on your version of a stage and you're actually competing? She, since she never did gymnastics and she's only a performer, that's what she teaches us to do. So as soon as we step onto the floor, like that's our stage and we get to just perform and have as much fun as possible, which isn't hard to do because like competition has always been my favorite thing about gymnastics. So when we get on, it's just a show. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you this. My two little girls have seen your routine and they saw how happy you were. And they said, Mom, that looks so fun. And that's all we want to see when we see something like that. Thank you for bringing the fun back. Yeah, and, and the you. book is really interesting. You can read all about it. Get inspired for yourself. Valerie Condos Field's book is called Life is Too Short. Don't Wait to Dance. You can buy it on Amazon and bookstores everywhere. She also talks about Coach Wooden and everything that's inspired her. It's really interesting. And if you want to see these two in person, hurry before it sells out for the UCLA Home Meet tomorrow at 
2.30 p.m. at Poly Pavilion. Go to UCLABruins.com slash tickets. And I'm just saying, you're selling out arenas more than other sports now. And Congratulations. As a, and as a USC you. fan, you actually have me rooting for UCLA. Oh, so there you go. Okay. You know what? <laughs> By the way, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We hear about UC every day. Nicely so go done. UCLA. Great clap for you guys. All right. Aww. We'll be back with more right after this. Fox 11 Pet Project is sponsored by the SoCal Helpful Honda Dealers. The Ortho Mattress President's Day Sale is on now. Save up to 50% off all Ortho mattresses. Or receive $500 off Tempur-Pedic mattress sets and 60 months interest-free financing. Our Capri Bed in a Box mattress starts at just $399. We'll deliver, set up, and remove your old mattress for free without a middleman markup. The President's Day Mattress Sale, only at Ortho Mattress. Ortho Mattress. It's the next frontier in medicine, putting patients at ease. They're relaxed, they're positive. How it's helping local cancer survivors find harmony. Tuesday on Good Day LA. What's more craveable than Shakey's handcrafted pizza? Adding a second Shakey's pizza for just $5. Introducing